Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So in this video, we want to look at the args keyword in Python and how we use that in object-oriented programming and not just um, with object-oriented programming. It can really be used with any sort of method in Python and a method doesn't have to be constricted to a class, but in object-oriented programming, it is. So let's see here. So if we go ahead and let's create a method attached to our C class and we'll just call this uh, args example and it's going to reference self and then the second argument that you're going to pass in is going to be the keyword args and it's going to actually have the star character in it and that's really just convention so it's it's kind of like syntactic sugar um, you don't actually have to actually call it um, it could be like keyword args or k args but um, you probably just want to get into the habit since it's like the the pythonic way of doing star args and what that allows you to do is just be able to pass in an arbitrary number of arguments so you can think of it as almost like a, a list container where you can pass it a million arguments or a thousand arguments or five or two or whatever it may be and this method obviously is going to be you know some sort of a loop over top of that args to be able to print it out um, so essentially you would just do like a simple loop like um, for arg and args and then one of the funny things that you need to keep in mind is that you don't actually reference the args by using the star character that's actually not proper it won't work so just simply say args which is the name of this without the star special keyword there and then we can just say like print arg so now in order to be able to use this I can go down to my object and then make a call to that method the args example and then this is test one two three so you can see this is just a arbitrary number of arguments that I've passed in I didn't have to have the method be smart enough to take in four strings that are being passed to it it just has one parameter that basically says I can handle whatever you throw at me. So if we run this, you can see that it printed out the arbitrary number of arguments that were passed to it. Now the other thing that you guys are going to run into whenever you're doing a lot of object-oriented programming in Python is the keyword args. And what that is is its name value arguments and it can be once again an arbitrary length of name value arguments passed into a method and the method would still be able to operate under those circumstances so let's create a new method under the same class that's going to be uh, keyword args example and then this um, the standard is to do star star quargs which is keyword args and uh, down here we could just say for name value in quarks dot items and then we could say print and we haven't really touched on this part in fact let me not do that so we haven't really touched on actually I do not remember if we touched on the string formatting we might as well go ahead and touch it here uh, so in Python you have an ability to format your string by passing in arguments on the fly so you can see inside the curly braces here is a number this is going to be the first argument since we start counting at zero so that's zero so that's the first argument and then here is the second argument and then we're going to say dot format and then you pass in the first and second argument that the thing needs so this could go on for like you know we could have more arguments if we had more to provide but we obviously don't So you can see first argument, second argument, first argument, second argument, and you could have a third and a fourth and a fifth if, if that's what it calls for. But in this case, it's just name value because what this really is is an uh, arbitrary length dictionary. So a dictionary, if you remember, is a key and then the value. You look up by key to get the value. And it's helpful because you could just... Um, you could pass it things so let's go ahead and do that now so let me move this up and we'll say my object dot keyword args example 
And then here I can just simply say like uh, band equals base side origin oh wait origin equals new york and if i go ahead and run this you can see that we get band equals bayside origin equals new york and it could be any sort of uh, you know, th this could be an unlimited number of key value arguments that are passed to this method. So hopefully that makes sense. You guys might have to play with that to let that sink in a little bit. It's um, it's one of the more, I would say, advanced features, possibly um, at least a little bit more cryptic when it comes to Python. Python's pretty straightforward about everything it's doing for you. I think the, key the keyword arguments is... Um, I don't know. I find it a little bit cryptic. It's not like it's difficult once you grasp it, but it's still something. I think it's just kind of an oddball thing, to be honest with you. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good night. Bye.